This is not an actual accident scene. St. Francis Hospital in Zambia Training School, supported by Maltese International, is taking trainees in a simulation exercise for them to have hands-on experience on how to deal with emergency medical care. The Chief Executive Officer, St. Francis Hospital in Zambia, Dr. Andrew Sekitoliko, emphasizes the need for collaboration to ensure that the country trains more emergency healthcare professionals. Before people reach hospital, in many other countries, you'll find someone called a paramedic. That's a person who sits in an ambulance and they are the first responders. They go to the accident scene, manage the scene, manage the public, handle with the police, and those people will then deliver that patient into the hospital. This helps us to move away from what we call the scoop and run type of care. Scoop and run means the ambulance goes to the scene without anything. The Ministry of Health has a target of having at least 500 emergency health care providers in the next three years. These kind of professionals we want to train are able to go to the scene and stabilize their patient and give care so that the patient is fit for transport. So that even in transport we are not running, but care also goes on in the transport until the person reaches the hospital. The aim is to have professionals handle patients before they reach the hospital for more management. This is a new specialty in our country. It has not been in existence, but there is a core team of people who are supposed to work in the ambulances before the hospitals, because this is where we lose many people. When an incident happens and you do not get the professional help or no one calls for help or if help comes and they are not professional enough, we train people to prioritize what kills first and what can be treated later and what can be treated by other specialists. In Uganda, government is collaborating with private institutions and development partners like Maltese International to strengthen emergency medical services after realizing that it is an important aspect in the healthcare delivery. Adiana Kuti, UBC.